Uh, greetings and welcome to our weekly educational rounds here at Seclair, an holistic integrative psychiatric facility located in Export, Pennsylvania. My name is Jim Ellermeyer. I'm a behavioral health therapist, and today I'm joined by two of my colleagues. On my left would be... Julianne, I'm a PA student from Duquesne University. And on my right? Chris, I'm a PA student from St. Francis University. And it's our intention here at Seclair to each week present something useful that you can use in your life, some type of a life enhancing type of tool. And today I believe that we're going to, uh, we're going to be talking a little bit about uh, an intention for loving kindness. An intention to make for loving kindness and an intention for that to be a choice. Could you make a choice for loving kindness, Chris? I could. Could you make one, Julia? Of course. Absolutely. So today we're going to talk about that. However, do you ever feel in your life, Chris, that you don't have control of your choices? Sometimes, yes. Absolutely. Have you ever felt that your life was out of control, Julianne? Yeah. Like when you're at 3 o'clock in the morning and you have all these papers due and all these tests <laughs> yeah. and things? You think things are a little bit out of control? A little bit. Absolutely, for sure. So the idea here is the mindfulness is paying attention on purpose. The mindfulness is participating in your daily life. Our intention here at Seclair is to give you an increased sense of control over your own life. And when we have an increased sense of control over our own life, both, both our emotions and our moods and our mind are more regulated. So quite, a, how, quite often what happens is when life gets dysregulated, when our emotions get dysregulated, we can make some other poor choices. Or rather, or set some rather poor intentions, right? So, what we want to do is make certain that you and you alone are in control of your choices. Are they? Yes. Okay. Are they? Maybe. Okay. So, are you alone in? Are you and you alone in control of your choices, Chris? I don't believe so. You don't believe so? No. Well, <laughs> we certainly have a lot of work to do with you, don't we? How long are you going to be here? Five weeks. Okay. So, sometimes we we go blindly, do we not? Correct. Underneath, underneath one of uh, these cups is a red ball. Okay. So when we move these, when we move these balls around, and one of these, one of these is the correct choice. Okay. So now I'm going to ask you to make a choice that's going to affect the rest of your life. I'm going to make you a choice to affect the rest of your life. That one. Right. Huh? And you, you go <laughs> on. <laughs> you won. How about that? Good. But most often, what would happen if you would have picked up? Was that fair to make you have you make a choice like that? No, I only had a thirty-three percent chance. Right, of, <laughs> of getting things right. Right, that Julianne. Mm -hmm. So is that fair? So how would we increase our chances of making successful decisions? Knowing more information, having more information, and being mindful. And absolutely, would you have had a choice even to participate in that game? I could have. You could have. Yep. You could have, you could have had a choice. Mm -hmm. You could have had a choice not to participate. You could have said, no, that's not fair. Could have. No, that's not prepared. No, I'm not willing to accept the consequences of an ill-informed decision. I'm not prepared to do that, of an ill-informed choice. Have you ever made ill-informed choices? Probably. <laughs> Absolutely. Absolutely, for sure. So one of the things that we do here also is we teach people we ask them to have an intention and make a choice to forgive themselves. To forgive themselves. I'll bet you've forgiven a lot of people, haven't you? Absolutely. And I would bet that you've forgiven a lot of people mm -hmm. yourself. Yeah. Wasn't one of the hardest things to do is to forgive ourselves, Chris? Most definitely. Absolutely. Can you think about a time in your life, and you don't have to go into specifics, Julianne, where you've, where you've needed to forgive yourself and had a tough time? Um... Not off the top of my head, but I'm sure it's oh, happened. Sure. <laughs> you beat yourself up about something or oh, something yeah. didn't turn out right. And you, you play the what if game, if only. Okay. So quite often sometimes we also make choices based on emotional mind, a rational mind, and ultimately the melding of the both through a mindfulness intention of paying attention on purpose is a wise mind choice. So, actually, we've prepared a little house today. Could you bring that over, Chris? Absolutely. Absolutely. So, when we have everyone out there. And we're, when we're asking people to make any, when we're asking people to, to make an emotional mind choice, we, uh, so let's see. We're going to ask the audience, door number what? Door number what? Two. Door number two. Door number two. So, when we go to door number two, what do we see? 
we see a happy scene. We see a man out in the field raising his hands up and enjoying participating in his life, absorbing the energy of the universe. That would be a wise mind choice. Anybody for door number three? Yes. Door number three, yes, thank you so much. So when we open up door number three, we see people stuck in a, people stuck in a traffic jam. Okay, so when we make a choice like that, a rational mind choice, I have to go somewhere. Okay, not, keep, not putting any wise mind choice or emotion into it, and you stay sitting under all that traffic. You're going to get where you're going to go, are you not? Yep. That's a rational mind decision, is it not? However, without putting the, the best of the other minds in there, we're stuck in this traffic. So, who's for door number one? Door number one. Door number one, door number one quite often we make an emotional mind decisions. So what we have here is a tornado. We have a tornado, and quite often, when, when weather gets dysregulated, when air currents get dysregulated, what do we have? We have a tornado, so or a hurricane. And sometimes we feel like we're in a hurricane, are we not? Yeah. Everything's just flowing around, and we can't make choices. So, Miss Julianne, where is it calmest in, the, in a hurricane? Where is it calmest in a hurricane? In the center. In the center, in the center, Chris. So here at Seclair, what we do is we offer you tools, we offer you tips, we offer you guidance to find your own center. Okay? We can't stop all the chaos of the world. We can't stop that. However, we can help people to learn how to deal with it, can't we? Mm -hmm. And find their own. Find their own. So uh, we talked about forgiveness, right? We talked earlier about mm -hmm. forgiveness. So quite often, forgiveness... Forgiveness isn't saying, oh, it's okay, or maybe I had some part to play in that, right? Forgiveness is the ability to accept and understand that those things have no control over you anymore. Those emotions, those emotions of bitterness, the anger, the resentment, the fear, those type of things that go along with forgiveness. Forgiving yourself means that they no longer have power over you. Okay, so when you forgive someone for doing you wrong, perhaps you've had some deep resentment about what that person did. Okay, and you forgive them. When in actuality, what you're doing is you're letting go of that negative emotion. You're no longer, you're making a choice to not have that emotion have any power over you any longer. Is that correct? So the choices that you're making today will play out for the rest of your life, will they not? Absolutely. Yes. So it's action and effort in the present that make a future possible. So let me, let's me let play a little guided imagery game. Would you okay. go along with me? Sure. Okay, let's close your eyes. And everyone out there, if they would close their eyes also. So let's imagine, let's imagine that you're alone and you're walking down a beach on a warm summer day. And you're barefoot and you're your toes are going through the sand and you can feel it going all over your toes up and down. You're walking right along the edge of the ocean and the ocean is lapping over your feet. You turn to your right and there's a pot of dolphins playing. Why don't you feel the warm breeze blowing across your cheek? What a beautiful day. So as you're walking up the beach, you're by yourself and up ahead you see, you see an object. And as that object becomes closer, you realize it's a person. And as that person becomes closer, you begin to realize that that is your future self. That is your future self. And as you get closer, your future self comes to you and puts their arms around you. They wrap their arms around you and they hug you. And they whisper you in your ears, thank you for making me the person I am today. I love you. And then as only two friends can, you walk hand in hand silently down the beach, enjoying each other's company. So you can open your eyes. Now my assignment for both of you is to write a thank you card to yourself, to yourself, from your future self, for all the choices and actions that you're making in your life today to make that future self come to you and tell you how much they love you. Wouldn't that be, wouldn't that be so beautiful? Mm -hmm. Wouldn't you yeah. like to meet your future <laughs> self and your future self thanking you and telling you they love you and thank you so much for everything that you're doing to, that made their life possible? Yeah. How beautiful is that? So when we talk about making choices, when we set the intentions to make choices, do we ever make a choice to be in anger or resentment? Yes. Do we do, don't we? Mm -hmm. can, you, can you make an intention not to place yourself in those positions? Yes, just as easy. Absolutely. So when we're mindful and we take that wise mind and we take that step back, we do have a choice. We can control our choices. 
Remember, the only power that these people, places, things, circumstances, events have over us is the power we choose to give them. We can't stop the flat tires. We can learn how to deal with them. So that's your assignment, and that's your assignment for everyone in our audience and everyone out there on the wonderful Internet, on the ether waves, wherever that may be. I know this show gets out here by sorcery or wizardry or some whatever type of thing. But we're going to, we have our studio audience here, and we're also going to ask them to, we're going to pass those out to them too, and we're going to ask them to do the same thing. So what I'll do is I'll ask you, when you get these done, I'll ask you to self-address them, give them to me, in three or four months I'll mail them to you. Okay. okay? So any comments, questions, concerns, Miss Julianne? Um, I just think we all have to remember that we do have choices and just to take the opportunity to forgive yourself. Yeah, absolutely. And Mr. Chris? Uh, just like Julian said, everybody has a choice and those choices will affect you. But you always just have that choice. And as always, we welcome any comments, any questions, any concerns, criticisms, all are welcome. And Miss Julianne is now going to share with you on how to reach us. You know, I'll just kind of cut that off. And... Okay. Technical difficulties. That's not yeah, a problem. I just, I just forgot to prep it. Okay. <laughs> it's not a problem. That's not a problem. So can we, can I go on? Actually, hold on, hold on. Maybe. Nope. 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 Well, I'll just record that thing today. And we'll start doing that. The beauty of, the beauty of live right. <laughs> recordings, right? Right. right. Okay, so as always, we offer a free prescription at the end of every podcast. Fruits, nuts, and vegetables, unplug your television, and uh, take up fishing. And for a truly mindful experience, we... Fish without bait. We fish without <laughs> bait, which, which is a life of, without definitive expectations, where we set ourselves up for failure at this point. So until then, I'd like to thank my two colleagues for joining me today and everyone out there. Make, please make your choices mindful and do a kindness for another today. Do a kindness for another. Thank you so much.